This is Akashwani Mangaluru. Dear listeners, in today's Talk in English program now, we will hear a talk, Drosophila, a versatile animal model in biological research by Dr. Sham Prasad Varijaraghu, Professor, Enapoya Research Center, YRC, Enapoya deemed to be university, Mangaluru. So today we are challenged with a number of health issues and disorders. It may be diabetes, cancer, alzheimer disorders parkinson disorder heart problem etc most of these health issues do not have complete remedies and scientists worldwide are performing different experiment to overcome these challenges however to do such experiment it is necessary to synthesize these disease condition in animal models because it is not allowed to do such experiments directly in humans an animal model is nothing but any other animals other than humans used in biomedical research that can mimic the aspects of biological processes or diseases found in humans scientists use different animal models like mice rats zebra fish rabbits worms like sea elegans and insects like drosophila melanogaster each of these animal models has its own advantages and disadvantages However, they are instrumental in many biological discoveries. A large number of drugs discoveries against different disease conditions in humans are based on studies using these different animal models. In addition, fundamental questions in the biological system and their impact can also be studied using these different animal models. Today, I will talk about one of such popular insect model called Drosophila melanogaster. what are the advantages of using this insect model and what are the big discoveries so far in the field how such studies coming from this insect model can be used in future drosophila melanogaster it is also known as the fruit fly we can find the fruit flies easily in our kitchen buzzing around and feeding on the fruits drosophila has been used in biomedical research for over a century to study a broad range of biological phenomena Here the interesting question is how a simple fruit fly that is roaming around in our kitchen becomes the most powerful animal models and helps in addressing different biological questions the work on the fruit fly or drosophila as a model organism began in the early 90s woodworth c w first cultivated the fruit fly in the early 90s at the harvard zoological laboratory and he apparently suggested to one of his colleagues william castle to use flies instead of mammals for his inbreeding studies castle developed a method where banana was used for culturing drosophila in their laboratory one of his students frank lutz did many experiment using drosophila in the lab later thomas hunt morgan who was working at columbia university visited frank lutz and showed interest in working with drosophila Thomas Hunt Morgan was working on gene or mutation theory and he thought a short generation period and easy rearing in the laboratory is an advantage to use drosophila for different experiments later Thomas Hunt Morgan received a nobel prize the greatest recognition for outstanding contribution in the research field for his discoveries using drosophila his findings were on how our genes or genetic materials are carried from one generation to another generation Today we all know that we receive genes or genetic materials from our parents. Thomas Hunt Morgan used Drosophila as an experimental model to show that genes are carried from one generation to another generation. He also discovered that genes are located on the chromosomes and these chromosome carry genes from one generation to the another generation. It was one of the greatest discoveries in the biological field and it helped us to understand the principle of heredity. some of the genetic disorders are also carried from parents to children in total there are six nobel prize winning discoveries in drosophila research field the second one was for understanding the process of mutation in the genetic materials by radiation today we know that radiation can cause mutation or changes in our genes or genetic materials genetic mutations are changes to our dna sequence that happen during cell division when different cells in our body make copies of themselves genetic mutation could lead to genetic condition like cancer or other disorders genetic mutations also help us to better adapt to our environment over time so in general genetic mutation has both positive and negative impacts on our system 
Herman Joseph Muller, who was a student of Thomas and Morgan, discovered the effect of radiation on genetic materials and showed that radiation can produce genetic mutation and lead to several harmful effects on their biological system. For this great discovery, Herman Joseph Muller received the Nobel Prize in 1946. In 1995, Edward Lewis, Eric Weishaus and Christian Wolhardt received the Nobel Prize for their work on genetic control of embryonic development. The transformation of a single cell zygote that is product of the union between egg and sperm to a multicellular embryo and then to an adult organism is a complex and amazing process. A fully developed organism has many different cell types that serves many different functions. For example, red blood cells carry oxygen, muscle cells contract, fat cells store nutrients and nerve cells transmit information. In fact, a human has about 350 different types of cells that are distinguishable in both forms and function. However, all of these cell types look identical in the early embryos. How then do cells become specialized as they divide? It is controlled by the genes in our chromosomes or DNA. Edward Lewis, Eric Weishaus and Christian Wolhard used the Drosophila model to explain what these genes are and how they are important in differentiating embryonic cells. Interestingly, most of the genes responsible for embryonic development and differentiation like homeotic genes, segmentation genes, etc. were first reported in Drosophila and later in humans. In 2004, Jules Hoffman, Bruce Brutler and Ralph Steinman received the Nobel Prize for their discoveries on the activation of our immune cells and their role in adaptive immunity. Today we know how our immune system is important in protecting us from different viruses and bacteria that cause different disorders. The immune system is the first part of the body to detect invaders such as viruses, bacteria, parasites and toxins or to sense wounds or trauma. Upon detection of these agents or events, the innate immune system activates cells to attack and destroy the outsiders or to initiate repair. It was the Drosophila studies that gave the initial discoveries on the mechanism of innate immunity and related protective mechanisms. In 2011, Richard Axel and Linda Book received the Nobel Prize for their discoveries on odorant receptors and organization of the olfactory system in animals. How cells in our olfactory system or in our nose sense different types of smells and how this information is recorded in our brain? What are the molecular pathways involved in this process? These are some of the key elements of their discoveries. These Drosophila based studies also provided insight into the recovery of these stored memories and using them in search of food and other olfactory cues. The most recent Nobel Prize for Drosophila studies was in 2017. Jeffrey Hall, Michael Young, Michael Rochepa received the Nobel Prize for their discoveries on the molecular mechanism of circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythms are physical, mental, and behavioral changes that follow a 24 hour cycle. These natural processes respond primarily to light and dark and affect most living things including animals, plants and microbes. Our genes or genetic materials have a greater contribution in regulating these daily activities. Most of the genes responsible for circadian rhythms were first discovered in Drosophila and later in humans or other vertebrate system. In continuation of these six Nobel Prize winning discoveries in Drosophila research field, Today, the number of investigation using Drosophila melanogaster as a model system to study most human disease is steadily rising, especially for more complex disorders such as heart disease, mental and neurological illness like Alzheimer's disorder, Parkinson's disorder, autism, epilepsy and some of the metabolic disorders like diabetes, obesity, etc. The question is why Drosophila? What makes them so powerful model organism? There are several reasons. One of the main advantage is its short life cycle allowing for a large quantity of flies to be produced within a short period. An embryo emerges within 24 hours of egg fertilization. Like butterflies and moths, Drosophila undergo four stages of life cycle that is egg, larva, pupa and fly. The whole developmental process from egg to adult flies takes only 10 days. The female fly can produce up to 1500 eggs in its lifetime thereby providing a constant supply of new Drosophila for different studies. The relatively short life cycle of the fly means that 
experiment that would take months or even years in vertebrate models such as mice or zebra fish can be completed in a matter of weeks another advantage of drosophila is that they are very small and thus very easy to maintain due to their small size and minimal requirements many drosophila can be raised and tested within a small laboratory which does not need much time and funding as research funding is a big challenge and more competitive less expensive animal models like drosophila have greater advantages in biological discoveries genetic factors also make this fly an ideal model organism drosophila has only four pairs of chromosome compared to 23 pairs in humans this simplicity was one of the reason why they were first used in genetic studies the entire genome of drosophila has been sequenced and annotated similar to human genome The Drosophila genome is comprised of approximately 14000 genes. Flies also have limited genetic redundancy. Genetic redundancy means that more than one gene is responsible for a certain biological function. For example, mice may have three copies of a gene causing a particular phenotype. When one gene is mutated, the others can compensate, leading to no observable developmental or physiological change. Thus the gene mutation experiments in mice is less informative and conclusive in contrast drosophila may only have one version of a gene so when that gene is mutated or deleted it causes a change in phenotype giving insight into the function of that particular gene in addition flies are also an excellent model organism because of their striking genetic similarities to humans and other mammals approximately 60% of fly genes are homologous to mammalian genes meaning the genes originates from a common ancestors furthermore 75% of human disease related genes have orthologs or genes with similar function in the fly drosophila also offers a large number of genetic tools which can be used for gene manipulation that is either up regulating or down regulating the gene expression The range of genetic tools that have become available for drosophila studies over the past century far surpasses those for any other model organism. We can also introduce genes from humans or other animals into drosophila and study their function in a simplified model system. Most importantly, drosophila research is not hampered due to different ethical challenges as compared to other animal models. That makes them fast and easily accessible model system. In addition these flies can be easily transported from one place to another place without much trouble in summary our growing understanding of the research finding in drosophila opens up the unexploited potential of drosophila as a model organism to address different biological or disease condition in humans drosophila is also emerging as a valuable system for use in the clinical drug discovery process Drosophila can be used as a model to test the effect of novel drugs on biochemical pathways conserved within humans that control many key cellular activities. New drugs can be tested in Drosophila much faster than in vertebrate model. Indeed, they may even be used for the initial high throughput screening process as an alternative to cell culture. Screening in a whole organism promotes the selection of compound that have an enhanced safety profile for subsequent testing in expensive vertebrate models we in the division of neuroscience enopia research center enopia deemed to be university used drosophila as one of the model system to study some of the human disorders like alzheimer disorder parkinson disorder epilepsy and diabetes our findings in screening some of new drugs against human disorder will help us to provide possible pharmacological intervention against these disorders Dear listeners you have just heard a speech drosophila a versatile animal model in biological research delivered by dr sham prasad warijaraghu this talk came to you from the studios of akashavani mangaluru